I think that people like to look at their own, you know, reflection of their, their selves. We all do. So portrait exhibitions, whether it's paintings or photographs, are always immediately interesting to viewers. So I think, again, the works in this galleries are all people's faces, basically, but they very directly deal with issues of race and gender being dislocated from your homeland in some cases. Behind me, we see Injadeka Akunili Crosby's Dwell Me We from 2017. While Injadeka sits at the table having her cup of coffee, there's a dog at her feet. That is very unusual in Nigeria. People don't have domestic animals so much. So the whole scene gives a lot of sort of American culture, but it also directly calls back to her roots and um, being in Africa and being in Nigeria and what, what that growing up experience meant to her and how she's still connected to it, but also disconnected from it. What Morimura is doing with that entire series is thinking about not only the layers of a man dressing up or becoming a woman, but also in this case becoming a star, Elizabeth Taylor. When you read the work, you're sort of looking at starlet and then issues of gender and issues of race all at the same time. Harry Mae Weems in this gallery is the subject of her own work in the three photographs in this gallery from the Kitchen Table series. Weems uses the kitchen table to talk about all the things that women, American women, go through as part of daily life and sort of what that, what that really looks like, you know, compared to the archetype of American woman. And she is a fictional character in these works, but real life comes into play in the three works that are centered around this very domestic space, often associated as a feminine space. So all of these things are happening at the kitchen table. A lot of them have to do with the, the idea, in, in my view anyway, of being the matriarch of a family. What I think of is sort of the culminating image of the series. Her hands are on the kitchen table. She's leaning forward, the lights right over her head, and she's staring out directly at us as viewers, which is, again, a very sort of like a power move. And Martine is um, a transgender artist who has done an entire series that this work comes from it. Um, of herself posed with models. In this case, she's nude, the model is clothed. Sometimes she's clothed, there are different versions. But it's, this series is an exploration of her own transformation from male to female over time. It's somehow, you know, the Martin Gutierrez just has a very strong presence on a wall, isolated all by itself. It holds the wall and there's so much strength on that end of the room. The work that is a clearly a group portrait of bathers is a work by the Dutch artist Renika Dijkstra, and it shows a group of young adolescents, really like some on the verge of puberty, some already, you know, have blossomed, um, but standing along a shoreline in their bathing suits. This comes from Dykstra's series of bathers, usually this exact age, like this really in-between age between being a child and being an adult, and just the awkwardness that we can all relate to from that age comes across in the photograph. Kehinde Wiley is an American artist who has looked at the history of paintings, specifically portraits, and taken out the original sitter 
which was usually a white male, and replaced that sitter with a contemporary urban black man. In the work, you see this very handsome man dressed in contemporary clothes on a white horse. And it's exactly the pose of Colonel Platov on his horse. Young people, and especially men or you know women of color, don't normally see their own likeness necessarily in a painting. And so it's really, it connects with people in a way that we, that was sort of unexpected the first time we showed Kehinde, but we've seen it happen over the years. We all like to study and see our own likeness. Um, so just to see other humans, other portrait or por you know portraits in general, I feel like are an automatic attraction for us as viewers because it somehow puts us at ease in a way that other subject matter doesn't necessarily automatically do. I mean, that's something that probably we don't really think about when we walk into a room, but there is something about walking into a room and seeing human likeness that immediately opens a door in a different way than any other subject matter can.